So guys, today I thought I would do something a little bit different. Um, I've actually been in my office kind of trying to get all of my fragrances organized. And I was thinking that's a question that a lot of people ask me. They first, you know, want to know how large my collection is and also how I go about organizing it. I will say just flat out, I am not an organized person, which is weird because as OCD as I am about a lot of stuff, my organizational skills are just lousy. I have a hard time keeping this office where pretty much my fragrances have just really taken over. I mean, I do work in here occasionally, but I find myself more often than not just taking my laptop and my paperwork into like another room, the dining room or whatever, because yeah, my fragrance related stuff, um, I do a lot of photography in here. Well, really all over the house, but, um, Anyway, it's just kind of taken over. So it's it's really hard to keep this room in a state where I can work efficiently and productively. Being that everything is pretty organized and clean right now, I thought I would give you kind of a glimpse into um, what I have and even some of the ways that I've, I've tried to stay organized um, because I think we're all continuing to look for ways, suggestions to do that um, because, well, I, I hope that I'm not the only one in this predicament. I, I hope that there are some others out there where they, they feel kind of uh, overwhelmed and just taken over by this whole thing and they are continuing to look for ways to, um, to stay organized. Um, so I, I feel like we can kind of all learn from each other and um, take the good, take the bad, and you know, just try to make it work for what we're doing and um, trying to be as, as productive as we can with this hobby while also having fun with it too. So let me take you around and show you what I got. So as far as shelving, this is basically what I have. Uh, I do tend to enjoy an industrial, um, rather eclectic, type of design. I love Art Deco. I love mid-century modern. and But I also love those kind of industrial um, rustic elements too. So I thought this bookshelf here, here would be uh, a perfect choice for me in my office. And when I originally got this, I was planning on using it for work um, to keep my samples and books and everything uh, stored on and you know just try to keep them in order and keep them neat but <laughs> I kind of fell to the wayside the more that my collection grew and I just needed space for it so I did away with that idea of using it for work and I have chosen instead to use it for my fragrances. Um, also I had a couple of pieces of Live Edge wood that um, a friend of mine gave me when he moved. He was uh, starting to do uh, a lot of like furniture and stuff and uh, he didn't want to take this with him so he gave it to me and it sat around for a while. I really didn't know what to do with it. Um, had a couple of ideas because I used to do a lot of um, furniture making myself but I just kind of sat around and again as the collection grew even more and I needed more space, I decided to use them. So it's just basically on brackets, you know, like that. And I mean, I just, I love the look of the Live Edge. And so I was pretty excited when Sense of Wood came out with their little shelves. Um, I did pick this one up, but as you can see, I've already, you know, ran out of space with that. Um, with all my little 10 mil bottles, um, don't even really have space for my, uh, my big one there. And then I even have like some more <laughs> over here that, yeah, I just, I, I need some more shelving. So Fabrice, please, um, get those back in stock so I can get some more. And over here, um, I actually had these in the garage for quite a while. I was using them to uh, store like parts and, and pieces and things 
that I use for work um, to install jobs, um, again, in an effort to keep things organized. And um, I really felt like they could be of better use in storing all of my loose samples. So as you know, we got a lot of discovery sets and they come in these nice boxes, but then we have all of these loose samples, you know, especially those little buggers we get from uh, like Lucky Scent, those little 1.5 uh, dabber things. There's a bunch of those down there in the, the bottom. So I thought these little, you know, the little pull out drawer system would be a great way of, yeah, just don't take them out because then they're really difficult to get back in. Ah, well, I'll just leave that out for now. But yeah, it's, um, it's a great way of keeping those organized. So I've just added this one. So I have to go through, I've got like a ton more loose samples that I need to kind of put in here. And eventually I will, um, if time allows, I will get some kind of labeling system going here. So I know exactly what's in each drawer. I mean, some of it, um, you know, like I've got some Givenchy here that I was sent, um, some of their more niche type fragrances. Those are all carded, so I kept those together. I've got some Parfum de Marly up here. And um, also, you know, some friends who have, have sent me things over the years, always hold on to those. And, um, and then, you know, all of my little bottles here, these um, little acrylic things that you can get, look at this, Vika over at La Perfumery keeps me in chocolates. Every time I go over there or every time that I win something, it's always like stock full of chocolates. So, um, what was I saying? Um, yeah, oh, my, the smaller bottles, like um, the little 10, 15 mil, um, like these from Caswell Massey, um, I, I try to keep over here in this section. Um, I do have some over here from Sensual Obsession. Oh, what I was saying was um, these little acrylic things that you can pick up, like a TJ Maxx. Um, they're really meant, I think, for cosmetics. I think these might be like lipstick or, I don't know, nail polish um, holders. But those are great for a lot of these bigger samples or decants to store those in. And I know a lot of people um, do that same thing. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I've got some, uh, some Max Aroma um, little travel things down here. Uh, I think those are Fragrance de Bois. Got my perfumologist over here because I've been doing some more testing on those. Perfume parlor and my sense of wood sense of wood candles um i've got like a ton of those all around the house i mean they've i've already been burning those and some here getting a little low really enjoy those yeah let's go through the selection why don't we um oh yeah i got my my lights up here for scent remix and um huge cary grant katherine hepburn fan so i like my movie posters um bringing up baby is besides philadelphia story is probably my favorite from them um really holds a a place in my heart because um when my wife and i got married and we went on our honeymoon it was the first time that we watched that movie together she was uh, sick one night and so i went out and got her soup and this happened to be on TV um, at the hotel and uh, where we were waiting uh, before we uh, boarded our, our cruise ship. And um, this was on. And so it kind of became like our movie. And it's um, also a movie that, well, you know, while DVDs were still pretty much a thing, whenever I got anyone like anniversary gifts or whatever, um, we would always include a Bringing Up Baby DVD and whatever it was we you know we do gift baskets or whatever and we would always include that so um oh yeah and got a philadelphia story over here so um going through the fragrances in the collection um 
I guess, I don't know, should I be embarrassed to say that I do have um, probably right around 350 bottles. Uh, I know that's not as bad as some, some collections, um, <laughs> but um, I guess, well, according to my wife, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. But um, so my sense of wood up here, which, um, you know, I'm a big fan of. I love what they're doing. I've got my fragrance to Bois, Milano, and a little special spot here. I couldn't bear to take it out of its, um, its box because it's just, uh, you know, so gorgeous. That was gifted to me from Max Arama, and I so appreciate it. Um, it's become one of my favorite uh, scents in the collection. Uh, I only have one MFK um, as of right now. I've got Amorous Ohm, which um, I picked up uh, in Charleston. Actually, my wife got that for me as a gift while we were there. Roja, my Nishane collection. Love them. Parfums de Marley. Veronique Goodbye. Byredo. I only have one from Byredo so far. Um, and as far as full bottles, the same with the Frederick Ball. Uh, my Portrait of a Lady, which again, one of my favorites in the collection. And I do have a, a travel size of the um, Cure and Rose, I believe. I need to check that. I've already forgotten what that is. I need to pull it out and wear it, I guess. My Antoine Berrois. Marc Antoine Berrois, I should say that correctly. Ganymede and B683. My Nasamados and Orto Parisis, Zerjoff, Parfums de Nicolai. Um, a new discovery for me, Violette. Um, I uh, can't say enough good things about um, that house. So much history and their fragrances are just wonderful. I look forward to collecting more from them. Got some Killian here. Uh, Roses on Ice, which by the way, my wife just sprayed on. In fact, she wore it yesterday. She came in here and the funny thing about her is that she never pays attention to what she's spraying on. And she doesn't even really, I don't know how she does this. She doesn't pay attention really to what the bottle looks like. Now, you know, if you come in here and you come across this bottle, I mean, how can you not remember what that is? Well, she sprayed something on yesterday and I'm like, wow, what did you put on that, that smells amazing? And she's like, oh, I don't know. Um, you know, I was like, well, show it to me. So she came in here and she finally, it's like, I, yeah, I think it's this one here. And, um, and then when she said that, I immediately recognized because it did smell a little bit different on her than it smells on me. Um, but it, oh, wow, it was wonderful. Um, moving on, my Carner Barcelona, Serge Luton, love them. Atelier Cologne. This is another recent discovery too. Um, and the brand kindly sent me this bottle for review. Astra Phil and Stella. This is A Night at the Opera, which I did do a review on and did several uh, little videos. Um, love it. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Um, Alexandra J. Um, and then over here, this seems to be like my, you know, my newest discoveries. Uh, Pierre Guillaume. Um, love these two. The Indian Wood and the Hapiong. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Hapiong. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, my friend Vika, she recently um, gifted me that bottle. Thank you, Vika. I love it. And um, State of Mind. Oh, wow. State of Mind is phenomenal. Love what they're doing. Um, everything about them. I will probably be doing a video about them soon. Um, but just wonderful, wonderful stuff. The fragrances, the teas. Look at that bottle. I mean, come on. Can you get any better than that? Beautiful. They're all their own individual color. Um, Memo Paris. That was also a gift from my good friend Troy. Um, love that one. Um, wonderful leather. Amouage. Chantecaille. 
Habibi, I'm also going to do a video about them soon too because this is a brand that I've really fallen in love with. Um, I've got another one coming, which is the Velvet Royale, I believe, which is um, a creation by Quentin Biche, who is one of my absolute favorites right now. Of course, he did um, the Ganymede and the B683. Um, Montal, Aqua de Parma, Etat Libre d'Orange, Canitza Tin, Rogue Perfumery, my little lonely Galavant over here. I need to get some more Galavant in my life, especially that new one. Moving down here to this shelf, we've got some Essential Parfums, another great discovery, Daniel Hosier. Um, my Frapen, some The House of Oud. This bottle belongs to me. I need to get these two back to Vika because they belong to her in the store. They're samples. And um, she was allowing me to photograph those and review them. Eight and Bob, another one of my favorite houses. I've got quite a lot of favorites here, in case you haven't been able to tell. And my Cartier, yes. I've got um, four of the Declaration fragrances, Santos, uh, L'Enval, um, Roadster, Pasha. And then coming to my beloved Guerlain, my Habi Rouge collection, Shalimar. Got a couple of odds and ends here, Santal. Royale, um, Louis, uh, Black Perfecto, Mon, Guerlain, then my Ideal collection, and all of these classic beauties over here, Heritage, Vetiver, L'Enstant, all of these bad boys, the Ohm collection. And then we move down here to another beautiful house, Primera. Talked a lot about this house. You might even be sick of me talking about them because I just, uh, I love them so much. You see my little uh, 63 vet? My wife bought me that a couple of years ago. She said it was the closest that I would ever get to having a 63 vet. That is my absolute, and I don't know how she managed to get like the color that I would, I would want to. Um, we went to a Mecham auction um, quite a few years ago and God, there was one there that I just fell in love with. I, I would not like, leave it. I, I stood there for just, I, I must have stood there for like an hour, just like walking around and around that car. So I don't know, maybe one day I will get one. Then another house that I've recently discovered and that I really, really enjoy, Theodoros Calatini, Greek brand. The Santal wood is just gorgeous. So that kind of takes care of a lot more of the, the niche side of things, you know, besides the um, Cartier and, you know, if we're including Guerlain in that, a lot of people, you know, consider them a designer. Um, but moving over here, this is really where all the designers are. We've got some Hermes, um, relatively small Dior collection, um, same with Chanel. Um, I am very selective in what I like from both brands. I'm not a huge fan overall um, of either one. I know that sounds strange, but um, yeah, I'm just, I'm very selective in what I, I, I like from them. So that's why I don't have a lot. But moving over here, you know, I'm a huge fan of Prada. Um, just did that uh, video, released uh, that this morning on YouTube for the Luna Rosa 
one. So I've got that whole collection, my Prada Lone, Prada Femme, and then the Ambers moving down here, some Molinard, Avenida, and Patchouli, some Reminiscence, Caron, Bulgari, Tom Ford, got quite a few of the Aquas there. I was able to get those at really good prices, so I picked up uh, quite a few of those. My YSL, I love my collection here, especially this bad boy, Opium, Libra, Black Opium, Koros, and also the Y collection over here. Moving down to my Calvin Klein's, especially my Eternities, love, love, love. Always have a special place in my heart. Some Ralph Lauren. These are the only two Ralph Lauren that I have. Um, I really need to pick up um, a bottle of the Polo Green, um, but I'd like to try to find a vintage bottle if I can. But this uh, this Supreme Leather, it doesn't get talked about a lot, but this is some good stuff here. Ooh, one of the smoothest leathers you'll ever find. And this was the, uh, the new release, the... Um, I already forgot what it's called. I think it's the Intense. Um, as you can <laughs> tell, I haven't really like paid too much attention to it. I, I like it, but you know, it's it's nothing mind blowing. Um, Narciso Rodriguez, um, Dolce and Gabbana, of course. The one, the only one. Valentina Womo Intense, Carolina. Carolina, Carolina Herrera. Um, Kenzo. Rosasi, Ancre Noir by Louis, uh, Lalique. Um, some odds and ends over here. Versace, um, Oud, Noir, and also the... Um, Oh, man, I'm having a hard time with the, remember the names, Crystal Noir. Wow, how could I forget that one? One of my favorite coconuts. My Liz Claiborne, also very, very special place in my heart, both of those. And then my Perry Ellis Original. As you probably know, this was um, one of my very first purchases with my own money. Um, not this exact bottle, but um, it was one just like it, the, the Splash version of the Perry Ellis original. And I was able to find a bottle of it um, not too long ago. And um, yeah, it smells exactly the same. It's not, uh, hadn't turned or anything. Um, another one that, that holds a special place in my heart, um, my... My mom actually gave me a bottle of this um, quite a while back and I went through it. I went through another bottle and then I just recently got a third one, but Vera Wang for men. Oh, love that fragrance. What a great designer uh, scent. It's supposed to be Will Smith's um, signature scent or was at some point. Vince Camuto, Robert Graham, my John Varvatis, little collection there. Zadig and Voltaire, some Mont Blanc, Ferragamo, Womo Signature, Mugler, the beautiful alien, and some Rocha. And then getting down here, this is a lot of my classic scents, uh, Dracar, Dunhill, Bajan, Zeros Rouge, Corum. Um, these two here, these Lagerfeld, they also are pretty special to me as well. These are a couple that I wore when I was a teenager and still love them to this day. Clinique Happy. Some Davidoff over here, especially that Zeno. Love Zeno. And, you know, Cool Water. That's it's still a good one. Got some uh, aquatic freshies over here that are really popular. 
um, Nautica Voyage, um, the Versace Eau Fraiche, and um, St. Bart's by Tommy Bahama. Um, another Mont Blanc, that's needs to be up there where the other Mont Blanc is. That's the new Starwalker Extreme. Uh, my friend Troy also sent me that one to, to try. He found some bottles at um, some of the rack stores. And um, yeah, just um, new release, but it went right to the rack stores. So it's, yeah, kind of strange. Um, yeah, I need to, this one's kind of out of place too. This is a a lapidus needs to be over here. Um, some Estee Lauder, another good coconut, summery beach scent, bronze goddess. So you can see I've, I've got quite a few, um, you know, female marketed fragrances in my collection because um, I, I don't care. I, if I like it, I'll wear it. Dunhill, Gucci. Um, that's Oscar de la Renta is really not actually both of those the poor Lou and the gentleman are really really great fragrances the gentleman is is pretty unique um, I think because of that champagne note um, and that just it doesn't get talked about a lot at all then on the bottom shelf and just because these are on the bottom shelf does not mean anything it doesn't mean that I like them any less it just it's where they happen to end up um, got my Zara's over there. I love Zara. Um, also, that Lalique is in the wrong place. It needs to be up there with the Ancre Noirs, Noirs, and um, and these. A lot of these are like you know Middle Eastern oud type scents here. Um, bon Parfumer. Uh, my authenticity collection, as you can see, I've got quite a few of those. Got some good throwbacks here, mostly um, really nice sandalwood fragrances, Trumper, and all of that. Blue Hill fragrances, one of their newest Midnight Ride, Rentless from Lush. I've got some some um, Aaron Terrence Hughes back there. My Beach Giza, of course. That Coco Moon is out of this world. And also Alexandria fragrances and um, a couple of Hidalgos back there as well. All really good stuff. So, you know, I, I'm having a hard time here because I do need to do a little purging. Um, but as you could tell, when as I was going along, I mean, I'm just talking about these fragrances and, you know, every other one is, oh, this is so good. This is so good. Um, so it's going to be really hard for me to to go through and decide what I need to get rid of. Um, I mean, it's just I guess it's going to come down to what I wear the least or I don't know. It's 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 going to be hard. So, but that is the collection and, um, hope you've enjoyed this little glimpse. I know it's, it's a little on the long side. Um, but as you know, I just, I can't do anything briefly. So, well, thanks for going on this uh, little journey with me through my collection. I hope you've enjoyed it. And again, um, drop me some comments with any suggestions, recommendations that you might have for organizing the collection. All right, you guys take care. <laughs>